Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival, Season 7, Episode 30. Look at that beautiful sunset in the background as I start this intro. Um, unfortunately, I've already done this intro, but I didn't have my recorder set up right, so it messed up. But in today's episode, we're going to be restoring these villages because in the underground villages, I've already taken advantage of, for the most part, all of their their trades. Ah, oh, isn't that so pretty? And then we got this decaying storm in the background. Real nice. Um, I've already taken advantage of their trades, so that makes it really hard to... Oh, I guess that does tell me block light. Dang it. Oh, well. I was sleeping, wasn't I? Yes. I already took advantage of their traits. <laughs> so we're going to use this village, and there's another village over yonder. Uh, right there, you can see the house. We're going to restore them, protect them, and we're going to use these as reserves for the villagers so we could switch them out based on the traits that we want. Basically, we're going to make our village a god tier village, and we'll put all the crappy vill villagers in these two villages. And we're also going to spice things up here, make it look better of course, so that, uh, huh, I didn't think this through, <laughs> so that it, uh, you know, it looks good, and, you know, it's another place that could potentially get hit by tornadoes and, uh, make things interesting, you know, I'll care if it gets hit, <laughs> because so far this season, there just hasn't, haven't been, um, a lot of structures to get hit by tornadoes. We've had a couple close calls, but nothing. And then the house hasn't been hit. The other base was all underground. Whoops. Um, what else? The, uh, you know, we got the tower there. It's never been hit. The airport tower. None of, none, the windmill, nothing's been hit. So, you know, we start to add these large structures and something will get hit eventually, okay? Um, that's that's the goal here. It'll eventually make for some exciting content. And uh, let's see, we have strict silk touch, right? Yes. We're gonna make these glow trees, which I just add pumpkins to them, and uh, it works like that. We're also gonna take this leaf away because apparently this thing is here. We can do this, right? Yeah. Apparently this thing got hit or clipped by a tornado and uh, it messed it up. But yeah, we're gonna add light. I've got these uh, jack-o'-lanterns and uh, whoops and uh, glass, green glass. So you put that there, put that there, and it kind of uh, does that. And then I guess we can just use. Oh, I guess we should go on the other side of things here. We can use this to approach when our next one needs to be, and we'll place another one. And uh, I'll also put torches on the uh, doors here, put them inside the house, and uh, on these I'll do four in the corners, but the other ones I'll just light up the roof like a, like a normal one. Well, that might be a new storm there, we might have to check that out. Still an old one. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go around and uh, light up the village here. Uh oh, guys! It appears that this village has already had an infestation in it. Oh man, it's a good thing they uh this could have spread, couldn't it have? Let's just uh, end that right now. <laughs> and uh, oh man, why are there all these zombies here? Hello? Don't kill my villagers. <laughs> Anybody want some chain armor? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to continue with the, uh, fixing this place up. Alright, it's got a torch. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a long process to light this whole place up, especially when I'm trying to do it not by just spamming torches everywhere. <laughs> so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little difficult, but I'll see what I can do. That's the old storm, right? We've established this. You know, nothing, there's no hurt in checking and making sure on this stuff, right? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> because, you know, that's a, oh no, that is a new storm. Hello, where are you going? Should be heading away. Well, it'll be fun to chase, though, once the time comes, right? 
Alright guys, this thing is now dropping hail. So I think we're just gonna activate chase mode here. Let's get some of this junk out of my inventory. Yeah, I think we're gonna activate chase mode here and go after this thing. I feel like it's gonna drop a tornado at any time now. It's been strengthening for a minute. So uh, let's just grab our horse and go after it and see if we uh, can see a funnel drop out of this thing. Oh, now we've got a funnel. We've got the funnel dropping right there. Let's see if we can video it as it comes down here, get a zoomed in look. Yep, there it is. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get back on our horse. Come back! Where are you going? <laughs> we got places to be! This thing usually takes off when it's an F Zero. The storm motions are insane. They're hard to keep up with. It's like I'm QLCS chasing or something stupid. Uh, it's looking like an F One as it crosses the mountain there. Hopefully, it'll slow down so we can catch up. We're gonna hook a left around the mountain and try to get a better uh, vantage view, vantage point of this thing as it heads. Uh, where is this heading? Let's see, west, northwest. Oh, that's a problem! Go back! Go back, horsey! That way! That way! Uh oh. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> Alright. Oh no, this village is gonna get nailed too, and we're not gonna be on the ground! Huh. Alright, we've got quite the assortment of animals picked up by this thing. As you can see, my bridge down there that I've built to cross. Let's see if we can get out of this thing, maybe. All right, we're losing altitude. That's a good sign. Um, this village is going to get wiped off the map, let me tell you. We might have to abandon the old horse here. Oh, no, no. I'm abandoning the horse. My diamond armor should pull me down. Unfortunately, we're going to have to jump our way out of here. You're kidding me. You can't you can't jump two blocks when I'm like this. Come on. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, the tornado's right to our left. Where's the horse? Is he up there? <laughs> He's probably dead. Blocks are being picked up. We got a wedge on the ground. Oh my gosh, this village is, might be in danger here. It's an F4. It's going to travel just to the left of the village here. I got blocks being picked up all around me. Let's, uh, let's get over here. Yep, look at these blocks. Debris being cast down on the hill there. It's just on the other side of this hill. We're, uh, we're going to be going into nighttime chasing mode here. Wow, look at this thing. Just an absolute monster on the other side of this. It's now an F5. And this thing is just crawling at this point. There's uh, no telling the amount of damage it's doing. It's actually... It's almost heading due west at this point. Let's see if it'll hook a uh, hook a right turn at some point. Still in F5. Um, the village should be safe, although they are very close to not being safe. I will say. We got the sun setting down to our left. Let's get a clear view on the edge of this hill. You can see on the mini map, it's not really ripping up grass, is it? Um, ah, it's hard to tell. Oh, that is an absolute monster out there. It's now weakening, and it's kind of heading to the south. 
Unfortunately, our horse probably died. He, uh, he only lasted one episode. But he, he will rest in peace. <laughs> Unless we find him over here somewhere. No, I'm seeing mobs drop left and right. It's interesting. <laughs> This thing is dropping clouds everywhere. Oh, look at the look at the tree being picked up there. That's where your damage path is going to be. Intense lightning rates with this thing too. I should have kept my uh, armor and stuff. Is it an F5? No, it's still an F5. And it is uh, it's just crawling here. It's not really moving. This village had a close call, but luckily it turned left last second. Let's see if we can look and see if there's anything ahead of this. Oh, crap. We got some casualties. <laughs> Mainly sheep. Disproportionately affecting the black ones here. Oh, yeah, here's the damage path right in front of me here. Look at how wide this thing is. It is, uh, it is picking up all those trees there. Let me see. Can I, uh... Can I make this so it picks up tall grass? Large tornado on the ground. Near miss for that village. Or is it near hit? <laughs> Not a near miss. I've gone over that. <laughs> it's now weakened to an F4. Um... There was nothing in the damage path from what we could see. Right. We can't get in front of this thing, unfortunately. Not at the rate we're going. Look at all this just tossed up in the air. We've uh, we've discovered that there is a village way way to the west here, but there's no telling if this thing would even be on the ground by the time it got there, or if it would even head in that in the direction of that village, you know. But uh, it's got to be weakening even more at this point. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on the radar here. Let's just peek over this hill. Ow! <laughs> yeah, we finally got in front of this thing. Took some effort. Let's uh, let's climb. Uh, yeah. There's nothing. So at this point, I'm gonna head back so we can t continue working. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we can continue working on the thing. Here was an EF3. No, it's still an EF4. But it's, yeah, we got a pretty solid view for thousands of blocks ahead, and there's nothing for this thing to hit. So I'm going to head back so we can continue working. Alrighty, guys, I'm back here to continue work on the farm. And of course, I do that. <laughs> on the farm. Are you. What? <laughs> on the village. Um. <laughs> It's actually funny that we, uh, well, not funny, but it's actually kind of cool that we were able to uh, have an opportunity to chase because there have been a lot of tornadoes in the last few days across the uh, continental U.S., you know? It's, uh, it's actually been kind of crazy, <laughs> the amount of tornadoes there's been. Um, and uh, I know a lot of people who have gone chasing, and I, I really enjoy following that stuff on Twitter. And uh, actually, just before recording this Twitter, this Twitter, it is really late, by the way. Just before recording this episode, I was listening to the police scanner in Jefferson City because they had just been hit by a tornado, a direct hit to Jefferson City in Missouri. That's the uh, state capital of Missouri, if you're unfamiliar with their geographical locations <laughs> but yeah that's uh that's a huge uh 
huge catastrophic event right there. Um, it'll be a while before we get damage reports or anything like that, or not damage reports, there's tons of those coming in, but uh, fatality reports or anything like that, and it really is devastating, all the all the reports I were hearing coming in. Uh, it's not good stuff, I'll say that. There's a lot of injuries, and I hadn't heard of any deaths yet, but they they will come with an event like that. Um, one thing I will say is it's been a multi-day outbreak, and uh, there's been the Mangum tornado in uh, in Oklahoma. There was the uh, oh that was on Monday. Uh, yesterday we had a tornado hit St. Louis, and uh, several others in Kansas and I think Missouri too. And then today there was just an outbreak of tornadoes um, everywhere you think of, you know, um, Oklahoma, Missouri, Illinois. Uh, yeah, there was uh, quite a few tornadoes out and about today and uh, they did quite a bit of damage. It was a huge trough moved across the country and it was essentially a, uh, I don't have them on me. It was essentially a multi-day outbreak is what it was. Um, I'm sure once it's done, there'll probably be over over 50 tornadoes in total for the three days, maybe more. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see until the reports fully come out. Oh, we're going to go ahead and start repairing these houses here. We'll have to wait till nighttime to see more of the dead spots here for where... Uh, where exactly the, uh, the what do you call it needs to go? Ah, yes, the, that that word that I'm looking for. Where more torches need to go. <laughs> um, I'm sure this is supposed to be like this, right? Probably. And this bottom is going to be cobblestone. Do I not have cobble on me? <laughs> That's going to be a real shame. But yeah, I'm sure there'll be over 50 tornadoes. And some of them might flirt with a violent rating. I know there's already been strong tornadoes. The uh, Mangum was a... Some of these houses are going to be janky, by the way, because I didn't, I didn't bring glass, so that's going to have to look like that. Yikes. <laughs> I know the Mangum tornado was, uh, was already an EF3. And, uh... Oh, the, uh... Oh, gold, whatever whatever that city is. You, you've heard it in the news, I'm sure, because of the tornadoes. But that one, and uh, potentially the St. Nah, not, not St. Louis. Not even the uh, the word I was actually looking for. Basically the uh, the gold, gold lick city or whatever. That, that tornado will be flirting with violent raiding. All the other ones will just be strong or less. I'd say the, uh, why, words fail me today. They really do. <laughs> it's actually unfortunate. <laughs> but I'm sure those, uh, the, the one that hit Jefferson City, thank you very much, words, for joining me. I know it had been a minute. <laughs> I like that shepherd. We could build a sheep farm. Um... Oh my gosh, can I please find some words to exit my mouth here. <laughs> the Jefferson City Tornado, that'll probably be an EF3 or higher. The uh, Gold Paint City Lick, whatever it is, that one will be EF3 or higher. Potentially even a violent tornado of an EF4. I don't see it being an EF5, but that would also be violent. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what it's looking like so far. It's, uh, it's quite the devastating day weather wise there's also been potential dam failures because of flooding and all that it's been crazy weather wise unfortunately I have not been able to chase any of it despite me really really wanting to <laughs> uh, there we go uh, what is what would this be wood probably we can just make it wood why not <laughs> That works, sure. Let's just let's just rebuild it however we want to. It's our village. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm sure it was like this. How long? How long are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So eight dirt and then the plank. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like this. I guess that wouldn't make sense since that water's right there. Whoops. Yeah, this village is actually going to take quite a while to rebuild. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to capture all of it on camera or not. But I, I just wanted to cut in and do a little... Ah! Bug flew right at me. Do a little commentating. Um, why are you sad? <laughs> Did I build this one too long? We can fix that. It'll save me the logs and everything. This Depth Strider, man. I can just walk through water. You know, Jesus could, uh... He could walk on water, but I can walk through it. So, uh, who's the real miracle worker here? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these. Look at these log intensive builds. This is just ridiculous. Look, and then I gotta use logs to make planks, and it's just, it's just all around a tough time here in the, in the, in the world of Minecraft. More planks. Yeah, um, how does this, we're going to finish this house and I'm going to cut back out for a minute. Um, oh wow, these go three high, that's, uh, that's news to me. Yeah, that's how, uh, that's how the weather's been. There's been some insane footage too, that storm chasers have obviously captured. Copshod. <laughs> um, or it's like this, and then like this. Um, the, uh, the two biggest tornadoes happened at night, and the uh, the Mangum one happened during the day. So that's the one that's had the most footage, which is it, it's some really nice footage. And the Mangum one was nice because it didn't do that much destruction, like knocked out a barn. But it's Oklahoma, so that's just gonna happen. Is this how this looks in here? Yes. Oh, this had damage too. Yeah, we're gonna have to get resource gathering and everything for this. <laughs> it's crazy. I didn't realize how many resources were I'm sorry. Put into this village. Uh yeah, sure. It almost feels like these should have double doors. <laughs> oh, another tree. This is a garbage tree though. But yeah, that's as I was saying. It's uh, quite the incredible footage captured by storm chasers over the past few days. I can't turn these until they grow right. Yep. Um, like that. And then, uh, like so. Yeah. And we can turn those into paths later. Like this. See what I'm doing there? Yeah. All these path blocks got picked up, I'm pretty sure. Let's just make this like this. It'll be a lot easier. Um, I actually know a few storm chasers. Um, oh, gosh. I don't want to have to build another farm. I don't even have the oak for it. Let's just, let's just pretend that this never existed, you know? It'll be our, uh, our little secret. Nobody will ever know. Yeah, there have been three fatalities from that golden tornado that I can't think of the exact name of the city. I'm sure I'll have it plastered on screen at one point just to just to let you guys know. <laughs> Cause I'm a bad I'm a bad source of information apparently. Look, we even need dirt. Are you kidding me? We have tons of dirt back at the base and I couldn't bring it. Look, it's still two more blocks still. Jeez. There we go. We're gonna have to till that. Oh, I gotta rebuild this house and this one and this one. All of this needs rebuilding. It's a whole, whole freaking disaster. Whole place got leveled by one, whenever hit it. Uh, why are you here? Your existence is flawed. <laughs> Hope you know that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. As I was saying, pretty incredible day. That'll wrap up the old commentary piece for this as I struggle through it for sure. Uh, let's put that there. So the restoration on some of these houses could be better, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, they uh, look, 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 look a little wacky, I'm not... They, uh, uh, there's nothing you can do about that, you know? <laughs> it's uh, I didn't bring glass panes. I'm not going to get glass panes, so that's what we got to deal with. Um, 
I think you guys get the general idea of what I'm doing here. So in this video, I'm just going to finish up the this village. And in a live stream, I'll do that village over there. Just because, one, it gives me live stream content. And two, this would just be another 40 minute long video if I did both of those. And I, it would take hours. And the last few videos of the series have been... <laughs> 40 minute long videos and I think you guys don't mind that but you would probably prefer if I didn't do that <laughs> so wow we need seeds too apparently um said for the most part we're we're uh, almost done we are just waiting on the grass to grow so we can make those paths into paths and uh, we gotta we gotta close up a few you know dark spots here and uh unfortunately finish this last one right here well you know and that one oh no there's mobs how did you spawn hey stop that no spawning i guess it was just dark in here okay um shouldn't you people people be going to bed at me <laughs> uh oh we can get seeds here Hmm. Came out with two extra seeds after all that. Darn. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get quite a bit here. Ah, three extra seeds. Ho ho ho, making grounds and a lost one. And we're back where we started. <laughs> These are potatoes. <laughs> are these... How many of you are... What the heck? Why? Why are these wheat? I, I don't understand. You know, that just don't, don't make sense of it. Uh, let's just finish up the house. Um, where were we working? Over here. Yes, this monster here. Guess we'll just fill in the holes and see what we end up with here. Because I don't know what to tell you. It's, uh, it's in pretty rough shape. I've seen worse. So it's just, uh, I don't, I don't even know what this dirt here. Oh. I was like, hey, that's a good one. <laughs> be free, my friend, be free. I was like, paper trade for 24, that's, uh, that's golden. <laughs> I think it's funny that I may have never found him there if I just built over that. <laughs> that would have been a, have been a classic. Um, I'm guessing the floor plan looks something like this. I don't really know. <laughs> Um, yeah, like that, maybe. It looks near right. And then cobble outlined it, maybe. Do I have enough cobble? Yeah, I do. I have no idea what the rest of this house looked like. Wait. I think it was like this, isn't it? And then we put these in the windows here. And then planks there. Right? Maybe? Something like that? I mean, heck if I know. <laughs> I'm not a village constructor. I'm just trying to repair this thing so that people can live here again. Does it look bad? That's the question. If it looks bad bad I mean it might hurt my feelings a little bit but it's okay <laughs> um, I guess we'll just roll with it you know see see how this thing turns out I don't, I don't even know what to do here um, no we're gonna run out of cobble is the thing so we're we're limited on that oh we have a whole stack left but still limited on cobble. I'm sure. Why not? Let's just screw it. Ta-da! It's a villager's house. What's that noise? Did you turn one of my villagers? How did you people get in here? Darn it! Ah, it's okay, it was one of them. 
What? Where did he spawn, I wonder? I guess we're gonna have to spam this place with, uh... We're just gonna have to spam the place with torches. Because we can't have villagers spawn, or villagers getting killed. That is the sole purpose of me doing this. The basic sole purpose of me doing this. I don't know what to tell me. You know, can they spawn on these? No, they can't. So they can't spawn on the pathways. I mean, yeah, this is a little dark. I'll give you that. I mean, boom, fixed it. <laughs> I don't know where he spawned. They're not as spawned in here, I'll tell you that. He's already placed a torch there, bud. Alright. Um... Okay, we have we got problems because they're spawning in on top of the houses. That makes sense, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> It'll require in further further investigation. Um, I think we're just going to continue in another episode because uh, this one's getting long again. It'll be good live stream work. So if you want to see the the uh, finishing of this villager project, where I'll hopefully get it, so mobs don't spawn here. Ow, you jerk. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Why doesn't that land? Game? He's not mad, he's not mad, he's mad, he's mad, he's mad, he's mad, he's mad, he's mad. <laughs> what was I saying? Right, the outro, that's what I was doing. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll finish this off. Uh, it'll be on camera. I'll finish it on a stream, you know? Good old quality content. Sometimes I question playing this game on hard. Oh, hello. You All right. What was I saying? Right. I'll finish this on a stream, and I'll do that other village on a stream. Next episode, we'll pick out what villagers we think are best, and we'll send them to the farm. We'll send them to our village, that is. And uh, that, that'll be it for this project. Uh, looking ahead in the series, I want to build an Enderman farm over at the in the end. I would like to build a gigantic farming complex so we can farm these villagers and get all the emeralds and tools we want. And, you know, we'll do some more cool builds along the way. And uh, that's the near future, the next couple months for this series. Um, after that, there's no telling what the future will hold, but I'll hope to continue doing this. That'll do it for this episode, though. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. Give me any comments, suggestions, complaints, anything you got in the comments down below. I'll try to respond to them. Tornado Wars 5 is in the works and should be coming soon, so I hope you all are excited for that. I talked to Shoot, and he said he wanted to do it, so I guess Shoot will be in Tornado Wars 5 too, so that'll be interesting. Like I said, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!